Hello, friends. Uh, um, okay, Sister Wives. Who? Oh, that's a little weird. Watches Sister Wives. <sighs> I do. Um, this is like, I'm not quite sure what my draw ever was to Sister Wives. Um, I guess it's the same as any reality TV show. Um, the drama, which I like to not admit that I love it, but I love it. Um, also, a big part of it was, um, sorry, there's someone sitting behind me at the stoplight and I think it's one of my friends. It's not, just kidding. It's not. Um, I was gonna be obnoxious, but it's not. So, um, part of it is also, I grew up very religious. Um, grew up in the church, Christian, uh, grew up all of that. Um. So I think a lot of it is the Mormon, Mormon fundamentalist, Mormon aspect of it. Um, and just being curious of what that meant and how they worked that. And also out of pure uh, jealousy, I guess, of like, how do people actually share their husband? Like, that's crazy to me. Um, disclaimer, it's you do you, boo-boo, but I definitely could never do it. Um, yeah, so, okay, so Sister Wives starts in a couple weeks. Um, I am not sure how I'm going to watch it because I usually watch it, like, after it's out on Peacock? I can't remember where I watched it, actually. Was it maybe Max? Is that maybe why I got Max? Could be on Max. Comment if you know how to watch it episode by episode because I don't really want to wait weeks until it's out and then have to catch up on all of it. Um, <sighs> yep, it's 5.30 and I'm still yawning, guys. I am coming home from school this video, not going to school, and I am just as tired. Um, I also, quick little side note, I also had to get x-rays this morning. Um, I hurt my shoulder, this one. Um... I was messing around in a hotel room while we were in Disney and slipped and fell and went to go catch myself on the bed and my arm, I fell off the bed because it like slipped. You know how box springs are super slick at hotels? So my shoulder just went like this as I went down. So it didn't really follow me. Um, not really sure what is going on. They think maybe a pulled rotator cuff. Um, so I got my x-rays done today, came back, no broken bones, which is good, I think. Um, but now next step is an MRI. So I don't know what, oh, so that's why I'm tired. So I woke up, I was like, I don't know where I'm going with this. Um, I had to wake up. I had to be in Placerville, which is an hour ish away. I had to be there at eight get my x-rays done and then go straight to school. So I'm exhausted. Um, so I'm getting pizza for dinner and I am going home, taking a shower, relaxing and going to bed. Um, so yeah, so Sister Wife starts in a couple weeks. Um, I believe on September 15th. I don't even know what day it is. It's August. It's last week in August. Um, so there's been so much drama um in the last season three of the wives left there's only one left which does that mean you're a polygamist if you only have one wife uh no he wants to be but he is not if you go fast i'll let you go sir yep there you go okay um so i feel so hyper right now I, i'm exhausted maybe that's why um so a lot of stuff happened the last season so in filming, they are, like, a while behind. I want to say it's, like, a year and a half or two years behind what they're filming and what's airing. Or, like, real time and what's airing. Um, so, so, all the wives left. And now I think they are going to kind of go further and kind of catch everyone up and be a lot more on track um, with like in the last year. So a couple months ago, um, one of the like 20 something kiddos um, committed 
suicide, um, and which is completely heartbreaking. And my heart just broke the second I saw it. I was actually at work, um, and I just like stopped. I was just like, oh my god, like that poor kid. Like I can't even imagine. I mean, I can, but we won't go into that today. But I can't imagine what kind of place you have to be in. But I can't imagine going through those things with the world watching. Um, he was just a child. He was a baby when the show started. And he was like 20, 25-ish um, when he killed himself. And he was going through, through so much with his family and his relationship with his dad that like, I can't even imagine what he was feeling to have to go through that and go through what had to have felt alone. Um, there was also some alcohol abuse speculated, I guess I'll say, cause I don't, I don't think they've confirmed any alcohol abuse. Um, but there has been, has been roommates. Um, he, I want to say, lived with like three or four of the roommates in the house that he owned. Um, and he, they were saying that he does drink a lot and he gets in very dark places when he drinks. Um, so I know that that will be, I wanted to do a video on it when it happened, but it just didn't feel right. Um, let the family mourn and yes, I could have done just like a quick little, here's what happened, but it just didn't feel right. Um. And it doesn't feel right. A lot of the other kids have spoken out. It doesn't feel right that they're using that to profit and to, I'm sure, gain viewers because a lot of people are curious about what happened and how the family dealt with it, which is fair. Um, that's just human curiosity. We all kind of feel that way with like, oh gosh, okay, what happened? Um, but... I will specifically say Cody and Robin, I feel like, are going to use that as a clout thing. Where they're like, hey, come watch our show. Whereas everyone else in the family is kind of like, okay, I, I don't feel right about filming right now and whatever. Um, losing my voice, I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> um, so I am one of those viewers. I am curious to see if there were any events that like specifically led up to it, um, if they will cover any of that, but I, I do believe that that is something that should be kept off of their show. Um, I don't think it's fair to Janelle or Christine or any of the siblings to be like, Hey, how are you feeling right now? And do an interview. Um, that's not right. That's so not right. They just lost a son. They lost a brother. They lost a friend. That's let them, let them mourn how they want to mourn. Um, so I, I will continue to watch the show because of the show. Um, but if they do have an episode about Garrison, I will probably shut it off. Um, I won't support that episode, um, or the aftermath of it because I just don't think it's right that they were covering it. With that being said, um, the trailers do not have anything about that so far. Um, it is going through how Christine met David, which again, this is very far in the past because we know that they've been married, I want to say for like two years or something like that, maybe just a year, but I remember seeing Christine's post recently that it was their anniversary. Um, so it, we're going back far to see when they started Dave dating and Cody meeting David and that whole dynamic and Mary actually leaving because um, in the last season we kind of heard a little bit of it I, I want to say it was in the um, tell-all show that we kind of learned that she actually had left um, so yeah will you guys watch um how do you feel if they decide to cover Garrison's death? Um, I also, because they are so far behind, 
it will this is season 19 it'll be very interesting I guess is the word to see if they drag that plot line on if they do decide to air it uh, will they use that for a next season's plot line which is just absolutely f freaking terrible to use a, a family death as a plot line so traumatizing to so many people but I have a fear that that's what they'll do because viewers out of human curiosity do want to know what happened and they want to know how it was dealt with and all of that which right or wrong it's a human emotion and it happens uh, so I'm wondering if season 19 because we're so far behind will be kind of just filler and then season 20 because they have come out and said that they were filming um, around the time of Garrison's death so it was filmed um, whether that will air in season 19 or 20 is a whole different question um, I personally believe if it is in season 19 season 19 will be their last season um, because like what the hell are we watching the show for now? Because, I mean, do a whole different show on the, the ex-wives. I would much rather watch a show with Christine, Janelle, and even Mary. Mary's not my favorite, but even Mary. Like, I would much rather watch a show with them and have the kids appear every once in a while and just leave Robin and Cody out of it. They're just annoying as hell. So, I have a feeling that this might be their last season. Um, it could, I guess either way, whether they do cover it or not, I kind of feel like this might be their last one. Um, that was a huge traumatic event that I feel like they could have gracefully said, hey, I think we're done. Like, this needs to be the end of it. Um, I don't think it will be with Robin and Cody. I don't think they care. Um, so I think they might continue a show, but I believe that the siblings and the other three wives, ex-wives, will say, hey, you know, this doesn't feel right anymore. Um, so my prediction is that season 19 will be the last season. Um, they usually part their seasons into two, so we shall see. Um, but comment if you are going to be watching. Comment if you want me to do um, like episode by episode kind of breakdowns. Um, or if you want to do like every couple episodes, um, cause I probably will do those comment again, if you know where I can watch it episode by episode, um, because I really do want to watch it episode by episode so I can make some videos and do some comments here, commentary. Wow. I was going to say comments, but I guess that works. Um, so yeah, comment, like, subscribe. You guys are awesome. And I'm at like 160 subscribers. I would love to get to 200. That's kind of my goal by the end of September. So like the next month, um, that would be super cool. Follow my Instagram, uh, follow my hair Instagram and follow my, my journeys. See ya.